Anahita is the old Persian form of the name of an Iranian goddess and appears in complete and earlier form as Aredvi Sura Anahita, the Avestan, language name of an Indo-Iranian cosmological figure venerated as the divinity of the waters and hence associated with fertility, healing and wisdom. Aredvi Sura Anahita is Ardwa Sura Anahid or Nahid in Middle and Modern Persian, Anahit or Anahid in Armenian an iconic shrine cult of Aredvi Sura Anahita, was, together with other shrine cults, introduced apparently in the 4th century BCE and lasted until it was suppressed in the wake of an iconoclastic movement under the Sassanids. The Greek and Roman historians of classical antiquity refer to her either as Anitis or identified her with one of the divinities from their own pantheons. 270 Anahita, a silicaceous S-type asteroid is named after her. Characteristics Nomenclature only aired ever is specific to the divinity. It might have been derived from Maya Devi the words Sura and Anahita are generic Alveston language adjectives, and respectively mean mighty and pure. Both adjectives also appear as epithets of other divinities or divine concepts such as Haroma and the Fravashis. Both adjectives are also attested in Vedic Sanskrit. As a divinity of the waters, the Yazata is of Indo-Iranian origin, according to Lomal related to Sanskrit Sarasvati that like its proto-Iranian equivalent asterisk Haravati, derives from Indo-Iranian asterisk Sarasta. In its old Iranian form asterisk Haravati, her name was given to the region, rich in rivers, whose modern capital is Delhi Uvati. Greek Arachosia, it might have been derived from the goddess Sarasvati, like the Devi Saraswati. Aredvi Sura Anahita nurtures crops and herds, and is hailed both as a divinity and the mythical river that she personifies. As great in bigness as all these waters which flow forth upon the earth in the Persian texts of the Sassanid and later eras, Aredvi Sura Anahita appears as Ardwa Sura Anahid. The evidence suggests a Western Iranian origin of Anahita. She shares characteristics with Mat Emlia in Slavic mythology. Conflation with Ishtar at some point prior to the 4th century BCE, this Yazata was conflated with Semitic Ishtar, likewise a divinity of maiden, fertility and from whom Aredvi Sura Anahita then inherited additional features of a divinity of war and of the planet. Venus or Zora in Arabic. It was moreover the association with the planet Venus, it seems, which led Herodotus to record that the Persis learnt to sacrifice to the heavenly goddess from the Assyrians and Arabians. Ishtar also, apparently, gave Aredvi Sura Anahita the epithet Banu. The lady, a typically Mesopotamian construct that is not attested as an epithet for a divinity in Iran before the Common Era. It is completely unknown in the texts of the Avastar, but evident in Sassanid era Middle Persian inscriptions and in a Middle Persian Zen translation of Yashna 68.13. Also in Zoroastrian texts from the post-conquest epoch, the divinity is referred to as Anahid the Lady. Ardwasa the Lady, and Ardwasa the Lady of the Waters, because the divinity is unattested in any Old Western Iranian language. Establishing characteristics prior to the introduction of Zoroastrianism in Western Iran is very much in the realm of speculation. According to Boyce, it is probable that there was once a Perselamite divinity by the name of Asterisk Anahiti. It is then likely that it was this divinity that was an analogue of Ishtar, and that it is this divinity with which Aredvi Sura Anahita was conflated. Boyce concludes that the Achaemenids' devotion to this goddess evidently survived their conversion to Zoroastrianism, and they appear to have used the royal influence to have her adopted into the Zoroastrian pantheon, according to an alternate theory. Anahita was perhaps a diva of the early impure Zoroastrian faith, incorporated into the Zoroastrian religion and its revised canon during the reign of Artaxerxes I, the Constantine of that faith.
cosmological entity the cosmological qualities of the world river are alluded to in Yasht 5 but properly developed only in the Bundarish, a Zoroastrian account of creation finished in the 11th or 12th century CE. In both texts, Aredvi Saranahita is not only of divinity, but also the source of the world river and the world river itself. The cosmological legend runs as follows. All the waters of the world created by Ahura Mazda originate from the source Aredvi Saranahita, the life increasing, herd increasing, fold increasing, who makes prosperity for all countries. This source is at the top of the world mountain Hara Berazariti, High Hara, around which the sky revolves and that is at the center of Ayanim Vaja, the first of the lands created by Mazda. The water, warm and clear, flows through a hundred thousand golden channels towards Mount Hugar, the lofty, one of the daughter peaks of Hara Berazariti. On the summit of that mountain is Lake Hervis, the turmoil into which the waters flow becoming quite purified and exiting through another golden channel. Through that channel, which is at a height of a thousand men, one portion of the great spring Aredvi heat of drizzles in moisture upon the whole earth, where it dispels the dryness of the air and all the creatures of Mazda require health from it. Another portion runs down to Vurukasha, the great sea upon which the earth rests and from which it flows to the seas and oceans of the world and purifies them. In the Bundarish, the two halves of the name Ardwa Saranahid are occasionally treated independently of one another, that is, with Ardwa Sur as the representative of waters, and Anahid identified with the planet Venus. The water of the all lakes and seas have their origin with Ardwa Sur, and in contrast, in a section dealing with the creation of the stars and planets, the Bundarish speaks of Anahidiabixteri, that is, the planet Venus. In yet other chapters, the text equates the two, as in, Ardwasa who is Anahid, the father and mother of the waters. This legend of the river that descends from Mount Hara appears to have remained a part of living observance for many generations. A Greek inscription from Roman times found in Asia Minor reads, The great goddess Anitis of High Hara. On Greek coins of the imperial epoch, she is spoken of as Anitis of the sacred water, in scripture. Aredv Isaranahita is principally addressed in Yasht 5, also known as the Aban Yasht, a hymn to the waters in Avastin and one of the longer and better preserved of the devotional hymns. Yashna 65 is the third of the hymns recited at the Abzal, the offering to the waters that accompanies the culminating rites of the Yashna service. Verses from Yasht 5 also form the greater part of the Aban Nyashas, the liturgy to the waters that are a part of the Corday Avastar. According to Nyberg and supported by Limil and Weidengren, the older portions of the Aban Yasht were originally composed at a very early date perhaps not long after the gathers themselves. Yashna 38, which is dedicated to the earth and the sacred waters, and is part of seven chapter Yashna Haptang Haiti, is linguistically as old as the gathers. In the Aban Yash, the river Yazata is described as the great spring Ardvi Saranahita is the life increasing, the herd increasing, the fold increasing who makes prosperity for all countries. She is wide-flowing and healing, efficacious against the divas, devoted to Ahura's law. She is associated with fertility, purifying the seed of men, purifying the wombs of women, encouraging the flow of milk for newborns. As a river of divinity, she is responsible for the fertility of the soil and for the growth of crops that nurture both man and beast. She is a beautiful, strong maiden, wearing beaver skins. The association between water and wisdom that is common to many ancient cultures is also evident in the Aban Yasht. For here Aredv Isara is the divinity to whom priests and pupils should pray for insight and knowledge. In verse 5.120 she is seen to ride a chariot drawn by four horses named Wind, Rain, Clouds, and Sleet. 
In newer passages she is described as standing in statuesque stillness, ever observed, a royally attired with a golden embroidered robe, wearing a golden crown, necklace and earrings, golden breast ornament, and gold laced ankle boots. Aredv Isara Anahita is bountiful to those who please her, stern to those who do not, and she resides in stately places. The concept of Aredv Isara Anahita is to a degree blurred with that of Ashi, the Gathic figure of good fortune, and many of the verses of the Abanyasht also appear in Yash 17, which is dedicated to Ashi. So also a description of the weapons bestowed upon worshippers, and the superiority in battle. These functions appears out of place in a hymn to the waters, and may have originally been from Yasht 17. Other verses in Yasht 5 have masculine instead of feminine pronouns, and thus again appear to be verses that were originally dedicated to other divinities. Voice also suggests that the new compound divinity of waters with martial characteristics gradually usurped the position of Apam Napit, the great wall-like water divinity of the Ahuri triad, finally causing the latter's place to be lost and his veneration to become limited to the obligatory verses recited at the Abs or 